On the main channel, I made a video on an alternative to Manus called GenSpark AI. GenSpark is a general purpose AI agent platform designed to help users accomplish real world tasks autonomously, similar to how Manus does. Now at the time it was actually free, but they have introduced a pricing tier, but they still offer a free tier. Now it stands out by combining multiple powerful AI models and toolsets into a single unified super agent that's capable of reasoning, taking action, and delivering useful results across a wide range of everyday use cases. And just recently, they came out with a pretty big new update introducing the world's first full agentic download agent and an AI drive. Now, with a single prompt, users can now search, download, and organize a wide variety of files, including PDFs, images, videos, music, and office documents. These files are automatically sorted in the AI drive, where GenSpark's super agent can instantly process, summarize, or interact with them. This turns GenSpark into a powerful all-in-one assistant for managing and understanding digital content, which is just super helpful for everyday use case. Take a look at this new demo where GenSpark has launched the new document feature where the Agentic tool is designed to prep something like a presentation automatically. It lets users convert raw data from PDFs and documents into clear boardroom ready slides, which is handling everything from content creation and research to design and layout. You can even add media like images and videos directly to the slides. And this is where the AI drive comes into place. This is where the AI can utilize that drive to use any sort of media that you have, whether that's file types, your raw data, large data, I mean, and it could be able to make it so that it could use it for generations like this. In this case, you have a presentation and they can add the media to it. It's smart enough to actually add it in the right components or the right slides, which makes it a powerful end-to-end -end solution for fast, polished output. So if you're interested in using GenSpark, you can create an account completely for free. And I believe there is a rate limit to it to generate with the free tier, but it'll give you a good grasp as to what the capabilities are of this agent. You want to use the GenSpark super agent, and this is where you can work on creating anything. Now on the left hand panel, you'll see the new feature, which is the AI drive. This is where you can download files or upload files so that your AI can reference it. Now in this case, you can also have it so that the AI could download the files with a single prompt. So in this case, if you want to download papers mentioned in a LinkedIn link, you can see this demo where if I am to start the uh, actual replay, you can jump to the result and it is going to work step by step in retrieving the research paper mentioned within this LinkedIn post over here. And you can see at the end, it does find the research paper. And then if you want, it is going to allow you to access all these files and there you go. It was capable of downloading all the research papers that it found within that LinkedIn post. So you can see that this is a great way for you to easily scrape and add media to your own AI drive. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. So let's showcase this new upgrade in action. We're going to have GenSpark find and download the recent research papers on generative AI in PDF format. And I'm asking it to search through and find related images and charts and summary videos if available and then have it organize all of the findings within the AI drive. And then what I requested was to have the super agent work on creating a dashboard to showcase all of the findings. Now, this is where in a single prompt, we're going to search for the content, download and organize it with the AI drive feature, and then use the super agent to process and summarize it automatically within that dashboard and you can see right away it is using multiple tools tools to get this started it is working on uh, using the scholar search to find research papers on generative ai and then it's going to download some of these research papers within the ai drive and once that is finished it's going to then work on scouring the web to validate the sources so it won't just randomly find sources and then put it in it'll validate to see if it is reputable and if it's worth putting within the drive and once that is done it is going to then output it within a dashboard 
Right now, what's cool is that it is working on scouring the web on images to implement within our dashboard. And you can see it is now adding those images within our AI drive, which is awesome. And there we go. Looks like we now have our dashboard fully generated and it has displayed all the research papers that it has downloaded. And you can see that it is pretty interactive and it also has the visual resources that we had requested to display. It has also integrated video uh, resources. And then if you are to go over to the AI drive, you can see that within our generative AI research uh, project, you can actually take a look at all the different components that it had downloaded, like the videos. We also have all the images that it has scraped through. And then we also have the papers that it found and displayed within our dashboard. And you can see how fast it was in terms of doing this. And this is why I believe GenSpark is better than Manus. It has the same capabilities and there is a free option for you to use this. I know Manus just released the free option, but this is something that has more capabilities to work with. So I definitely recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below. This update is truly amazing. So definitely take a look at it. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you take a look at the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.